so hello everyone today i am going to show you how to install turbo c3 using dosbox in windows 7 so first of all you need to download these two files that is turbo c3 application file and dosbox installer file i have pro provided the download link in the description so now let's get started first of all we are going to install dosbox so click yes then next next install so as you can see that our dosbox shortcut has been created so next thing is we are going to make a new directory go to computer and c then right click new folder and name it dosbox now what you have to do is copy that turbo c application file that is a zip file into this directory now paste it and the next step would be to extract it here so extract turbo c3 yes so it is getting extracted yeah it's done now we would be running our dosbox application and then installing turbo c3 in our dosbox so that you could run it and do your c++ do your c++ stuff so now we are going to mount so type this command mount c <coughs> sorry then c slash colon slash then dos box okay now type c c and then colon so you have change its directory now type cd and then turbo c and then type install dot exe then press enter this is your installation or you can say that it's the setup of your turbo c3 then enter the source drive to use type change it to c then press enter then again press enter and use the down arrow key to start to highlight start installation and then press enter to start the installation now you, here you can see that the installation has been started and it will prompt you when the installation has been completed so uh, we are waiting for it so it will be completed and we will resume the video so here we are the application has been installed now press enter if you want to read this you could use your arrow keys to go down and read the whole step else when you have completed your reading just press escape now turbo c has been installed on your dos box now type cd so now we are going to give it a first run so cd dot dot then cd tc slash bin so tc slash bin directly had been open now type tc dot exe to run your turbo c file so you can see that this is now ready click ok and then yeah i think it's working nice so now press ctrl f9 to exit dos box so he, now here our, our turbo c file has been installed now the next thing is if you don't want to use this uh, or use this dos box for any other purpose then other than uh, programming C++ using TC3 then you could do is go to start menu all program and then press DOS box dash 0.74 and then go to option and in the option then select this DOS box 0.74 options open that file so here yeah, you could see the, the note file had been prompted and now we'll go to the last line yeah now we will type certain commands that would help us to uh, start a turbo c3 application on each startup of this application that is dosbox so type mount then c then c dash colon dosbox then type c colon then cd tc slash win and then tc dot exe don't forget to save it save it and then close now run your turbos 
run power on your DOS box and here your application is started so I think my mouse pointer speed is quite high so therefore I, so I will use my keyboard so let us give it the first one hash include are you stream dot h in main return zero and then see out hello oops hello world and then and m l and then uh, get ch I just forgot one more thing that is to include onio.h include c-o-n-i-o.h now alt r and run this program so here you are so hello world is running so that's, that's it so whenever you want to close this just press ctrl f9 and if you want to uh, compile it or you want to uncapture its mouse as you can see that the mouse has been captured and not able to get out of this window so press f uh, left control f10 so your mouse would get out of that window and if you again go back then mouse will be captured to uh, run the file just press alt r and then you could see that the run window has been over and then press run and the other of and to compile it just press alt c so it would open the compile tab and then from here you can choose compile and then compile your program so this is it thank you for watching